Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Thursday Theorist. Today we are talking about Duma Key. Uh, this is the last ten episodes as far as the novels are concerned. I'm really excited to get to some of the other stuff. The Bachman books, the short stories, the uh, the Dark Tower reread. Um, if you guys want to join me with Dark Tower reread, I need comments down below um, and I will create a group just for us. So either on Goodreads or Twitter or wherever wherever you want to go, um, so that we can all read it together. I'll be reading all eight books, even the Wind Through the Keyhole, right in place, all the way through. Okay, so on with Duma Key. This is one of Stephen King's best novels. Um, it gets a lot of flack because, again, like we were talking about with Lisey's story, it is not specifically a horror novel. Um, one of my favorite characters in all of Stephen King's King verse is in this one. I love the trash can man and I like Wireman. Um, Wireman and Edgar sitting around just, I, I could listen to these two guys talk. I would love to be a fly on a wall with these two characters and just listen to them talk all day long. Um, the, the, I described in my Goodreads review that this one felt to me like Pet Cemetery um, wrapped in a bag of bones. Um, there's a lot of maturity in this novel. Um, there's a lot of tragedy, too. Um, this one, especially the ending, um, I, I remember there's a scene stuck in my head with sand coming off of her fingertips. And I don't want to spoil that scene for anybody who hasn't read it. Uh, and I know there's a lot of people out there who watch these things for some odd reason before they even read the books. Um, how does Duma Key tie into The Dark Tower? Um, there's a whole lot of 19 in this book. Flight numbers, uh, counting the letters of people's names, there's a load of them. Uh, if you want a comprehensive list of this, because I just don't want to sit here and start reading off numbers, I suggest going to stephenking.com and look at some of the, uh, fan, uh, the, where they have the comment section. Um, there's a guy named Zach who went through and made sure he noted every single time the number 19 popped up. It's in addresses, it's in names, it's in flights, it's in all that stuff. Um, another thing is this is a very loose tie-in, and I'm reaching here, but Edgar Fremantle and Abigail Fremantle. Yes, white dude, black lady, but eh, you know how things go. Um... It, you don't you don't hear the name Fremantle too often, at least I don't. Um, I've lived up in Maine and didn't hear it up there. I lived down here in the south, didn't hear it down here. So if it is a more common name, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Um, and let's see here. Anything else? Oh, yeah, Patrick. Okay, so Edgar Fremantle, the whole plot of this book is um, Edgar is injured, and then he goes off to Florida after being injured. It's you know, Stephen King pretty much writing out what happened to him in, you know, 99 when he got hit by the van. He was injured. And here, Edgar loses an arm. King didn't lose anything. But either that or he's talking about uh, Greg Isles when Greg Isles lost his leg. I don't know. If you know, let me down there. Let me know down there in the comment section. But with this one, he, he gets, he has the ability after he is injured to paint things in in and out of existence. Who else can do that? Patrick from the final book in the Dark Tower series. So I think that's everything that I wanted to unpack for this book. Um, again, I'm super excited that this is the final 10, ES including the Mercedes trilogy. Um, and yeah, they do tie in um, little ways. Uh, but if you have any other ideas or any other theories, leave them down in the doobly. You know how we do this by now. We're on episode, what, 26? 720,000? I don't know. <laughs> so until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.